ropes, ladders, hooks, giant walls, and water. What looks like torture on this blazing Saturday afternoon actually has people lining up to willingly take part and test their will. Honestly, I don't think about anything when I'm doing the obstacle course. I just kind of let my body do what my body does. What these bodies do is becoming one of the fastest growing sports in most watched NBC programs. <laughs> it's American Ninja Warrior, which made a stop in Minneapolis this week, and it's no longer just a niche sport. It's not just a cult following anymore. With the Emmy nominated show, you can't go wrong. You tune in, you're always going to see something inspirational. Awesome. It's inspired a new class of athletes. Yeah. Gone are the days of slinging weights. Now they swing from hoops and ropes. I have not touched a normal gym in three plus years now, and I don't touch weights at all. Kyle, like the rest of the athletes here, are obstacle testers. They help fine tune the course long before the competitors ever get on it. Yeah, it's critical. You know, it, the, the testers give us an idea of how many people we can expect reasonably to get through each obstacle. Yeah. 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 Testers like Maggie Thorne, a mother of three who's also been a competitor on the show for four years. She moves through the course with ease, enjoying the physical and mental challenges it poses. You get a little bit nervous and you don't want to be overconfident. You have to take it very seriously, but number one thing, always have fun. Then there are others who just get to show up because the show's on their network. My life insurance policy is up to date and I don't know that I've ever been this frightened in my life. <laughs> You nailed those steps right off the bat. We all thought you had it, and when you fell in, we were really bummed. Which is the other interesting point about the show and the athletes on it. There's a camaraderie amongst them, sharing in each other's successes and failures. It's super hard for me to watch someone I'm competing against about to beat me, because at the same time, I'm like, oh, I hope he falls. Ah! But at the same time, like, oh, go, 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 because you want to see them succeed, and it's such a rare thing ah! in any sports realm in the world. Which is exactly where the sport of American Ninja Warrior falls. So different, yet so alluring, whether you scale to the top of the warped wall or fail on the very first obstacle. Ah! With the CARE 11 News Extra in Minneapolis, soaking wet and a little disappointed, I'm Dave Schwartz. Ah! <laughs> the show's film last weekend will air later this summer. I think he was so brave. Oh I would my be, goodness. A, just so nervous to do it, it especially with so cameras hot. and a crowd, and it was about 100 degrees with 100% humidity. And it was hot, and he did say that he didn't get the rope high, high enough. enough. But a lot of those folks that obviously know what they're doing, they look at each one of those tasks and they figure out exactly what they need to do. Right. There's a lot of so, physics involved in getting and that he, thing. And he said they gave him a practice run, but he's like, ah, because he was kind of nervous and just wanted to get into it. I don't blame him. <laughs> so I guess we they thought shot you had that. it. I know, very brave. They <laughs> shot that, I guess, um, all night. So that it's dark oh. the entire oh, yeah, time yeah, that it's on when TV. when you watch the show, it is. Yeah. And thank goodness it was so hot here. I'm That's glad true. That's, that was a good thing. Okay, so speaking of that, let's.